Butch with Rosen, founder and CEO of Fast Call. It's April 2020, and I want to talk for a few minutes about devices in Fast Call. I'm often asked uh, what types of phones can be used in the application. So I'm here, uh, and you'll see that um, devices are set for outbound calls in the application here. In this case, um, I have the option for a soft phone and the soft phone option uh, will also show you your options for uh, headsets, input devices. You may see that here, you may see your microphone, which is generally not a good idea for a phone call, uh, any other devices that are connected. And these are controlled by your operating system and ultimately your Mac or your PC. Uh, so we will show you the devices that are connected to your computer. And that is uh, true only for the soft phone. Um, and uh, other calling devices could be a traditional office phone. And when we set a traditional office phone, we're going to call the user on the office phone first, and then we're going to dial the outbound record. Uh, sometimes we'll say that is click to call, sort of the more traditional way to use the application. SIP phone is really sort of a, a compromise between the two. You can use a hard phone, a SIP phone, but we're connect to, connecting to it through a SIP address, so it is faster, uh, and also using your office internet. The SIP phone is a little bit like the soft phone in that it's using your office internet connection for the user leg of the call, but it, rather than going to a, a headset and going through the browser, uh, it's going to a dedicated piece of hardware, which is your SIP phone. Uh, this is actually a really pretty good um, option, both for outbound calls, uh, but really for inbound calls, because for an inbound call, a SIP device can ring on the desktop. And when you're using the soft phone, uh, the soft phone will only ring in Salesforce in the browser, because the soft phone is working entirely in your browser and in our case, inside of FastCall. Um, you can see here, I also have a mobile phone set. So, and the mobile phone works like click to call. We're gonna call the user on her mobile phone first, then we're gonna call the, the, sell, the record in Salesforce. There's actually two outbound calls. Uh, mobile phone does work if you need to use the mobile phone, but the mobile phone is not great um, if you need to make a lot of phone calls. The call quality on mobile phone just generally isn't as good as a soft phone or really a SIP phone, but you can add a mobile phone as device. So the devices are set here. Um, okay, so I want to talk for a second about sort of how devices differ from caller ID. So I can set any of those phones a device, but my caller ID is set separately from that. So the, so the caller ID is not tied specifically to a, a device. Um, this is a, these are my provisioned phone numbers. So sometimes our subscribers will say, these are my soft phone numbers. That's not really accurate because these numbers don't have to ring your soft phone. I can provision a phone number to ring my mobile phone. I can provision a phone number to ring my SIP phone. So these are provisioned phone numbers, which will also route inbound calls. And an inbound call can ring any one of those devices that we showed a few minutes ago. Um, or I can use a verified number as caller ID, and this might be an existing office number or mobile phone. So the caller ID and the devices are separate, uh, and they're set here. So let's pop over to um, the settings, and I'm going to talk for a second about inbound call routing. So I, I mentioned that provision phones will um, will ring devices that are set up, but, and the user can control that here under user settings in my fast call settings um, under inbound. So here I'm going to be able to set my inbound routing to devices that are set. So I can ring an inbound call to a soft phone. Um, I can ring overflow. So I can ring one device then another. So a soft phone, then an office phone, soft phone, then a mobile phone, or I can ring simul ring. So I could ring, um, go over here. I could say ring my soft phone and my mobile phone for 20 seconds. That would be considered simul ring. Can also add a time of day routing here. Um, Inbound routing requires a phone that's provisioned in the application. You can use FastCall entirely for outbound and use your verified number for caller ID. Let's say this is here. And then inbound calls aren't going to ring back to FastCall. They're going to ring to whatever number you set as caller ID. So there are outbound settings, there are inbound settings, devices, caller IDs, phones, all managed in the application, 
all simple to set up um, right here. Any questions, shoot us an email, uh, info at fastcall.com, and hopefully the video was helpful.